Weddings, a time-honored tradition, and a time to build memories that will last a lifetime. An unforgettable wedding begins with careful attention to detail and ends with the radiant joy of a day everyone will remember. This is why we've brought to you a collection of ideas, hints, and a stunning array of wedding fashions. Welcome to the J.C. Penney Bridal Video Catalog. In this fall fashion show, you'll see 13 wedding gowns and more than two dozen coordinating dresses for the bridesmaid and mother of the bride. Check the details. Notice how the dresses move. You may want to show the tape to your bridesmaids for their input. Their opinions will be valuable, especially since it's something they will wear. If you want to take a closer look at any of the fashions, put the tape on pause. The page numbers you will see at the bottom of the screen correspond with the pages in our fall winter bridal catalog. But there is more to weddings than just beautiful gowns. You'll also learn about fittings and alterations unique to wedding gowns, your hair and makeup, how to choose formal wear for your groom and his attendants, plus other helpful features like selecting a florist and preserving your gown properly. Now, let's go to our first collection of wedding gowns. This romantic Renaissance gown is from the cover of our fall and winter bridal catalog. It's available in two colors, white or ivory. The illusion front has Venice lace accents. An elegant bodice is flecked with sequins and simulated pearls. The basque waist is fitted. Its quilted Elizabethan sleeves are finished in lace. The coordinating bridal headpiece has delicate fabric flowers trimmed with simulated pearls, sequins, and sheer wire hem ruffles. The dramatic deep V back is secured by a lace trimmed band. The skirt is designed with hook and eye closures that let you pick up the train for comfortable walking and dancing at your reception. The bridesmaid dress is a simple elegant design with a velvet bodice. The hem of the iridescent taffeta skirt is easily altered. The dropped waist is accented with a sparkling faux jewel on a fabric flower. This style comes in two fall shades, plum and green. These next three T-length bridesmaid gowns feature jewel-toned hues in rich taffeta and velvet. This dress has a scooped neckline, puffed sleeves, and a slenderizing basque waist on the velvet bodice. The taffeta skirt has an attached crinoline underskirt to give it this lavish fullness. Available in green and wine. This gown features a sweetheart neckline and ruffle accents on the shoulders. It comes in two colors, royal and wine, designed in taffeta with a close-fitting waist and bodice. A special bouffant slip creates a full look. The puffed sleeves can be worn on or off the shoulders. This dramatic style features a cummerbund of gathered taffeta, crowned by a large bow that accents the low-cut back. Choose from green 
or wine. The velvet bodice features a jewel neckline designed to complement a necklace or brooch you can present your bridesmaids as a gift. The backless bra recommended in the catalog is ideal for this dress. This timeless bridal gown flows with rich satin, lace, and simulated pearls. The scooped neckline is detailed with tiny simulated pearls and the bodice with Venice lace. The skirt can be easily shortened if needed. Add the special bridal slip for the full look shown here. The detailing on the full Elizabethan sleeves matches that on the bodice. The slender basque waist is outlined with simulated pearls. It comes in women's sizes as well as petite and misses. The bridal headpiece is trimmed with satin flowers and faux pearls. The bridesmaid satin gown features a fitted bodice with puckered inset and a large candy box bow on the waist. Choose from two colors, Daphne rose or teal, and wear the puffed sleeves on or off the shoulders. An A-line petticoat adds extra fullness. This traditional wedding party finishes with the flower girl's gown. Her dainty fabric flower wreath completes this ensemble. Now that you have seen the first set of fashions from our video catalog, there are a few things you need to know about size and alterations unique to wedding gowns. First, choosing the right size is essential. Major alterations will be avoided if you start with the correct size. All JCPenney wedding dresses are available in petite and Mrs. sizes. If you're between 4'11 and 5'3, order a petite. If you stand between 5'4 and 5'8 in your bare feet, order the Mrs. size. Petite sizes 3'4 to 13'14 are available, and regular Mrs. sizes 6 to 20. During the video, we'll also point out dresses available in women's sizes 18 to 24. If you're not sure of the dress size, turn to the front of the catalog for help. If you're between sizes, order the next size larger. It's easier to take in a gown than let it out. When you first try on your gown, decide on the bra you'll wear and heel height of your shoes. Also check the descriptions in the bridal catalog. They tell you if a special petticoat or slip is needed to achieve a fuller look. All the bridesmaids' gowns come in petite and misses and are available in tall and women's sizes as well. You'll probably need to make some minor adjustments to achieve a perfect fit, but ordering the correct size means they will be minimal and inexpensive. Check with a JCPenney store. They may have a seamstress on staff or seek the advice of a local seamstress. Now let's talk with a stylist about hair and makeup for your wedding day. Hello, I'm Michelle Holder. I'm the regional fashion trainer for JCPenney Styling Salons. We're here today to tell you about the services that the styling salons at JCPenney offer to you, specifically as it pertains to brides. We're going to talk about hair care, nail care, and also about makeup consultations to make your wedding day more special. We have Paige with us today as our model. We're going to use two different headpieces on Paige to get some different looks. As you'll notice, Paige's hair is very fine, but she has lots of it. She also has a new perm, and her hair is in very good condition. What we're going to do today is shampoo her hair, and with the use of styling aids, probably just a mousse, and using a blow dryer, we're going to build some volume in and then scrunch the ends to make sure it stays nice and curly so that it'll be soft and feminine. And we'll be able to do all of that in a very short amount of time, and it's something that Paige can do herself on her big day. This is Paige's finished look. As you'll notice, we left her hair very natural. We wanted to make sure that there was a balance between the size and the volume of the headpiece and her hair. What we have done is left very little volume in the top, and we're going to allow the poof veil in the back to balance the rest of the look. We always want to make sure that the amount of veil that you see and the amount of face that you see from the side is balanced. We've also left the sides down so that when Paige takes her veil off for her going away shots, she will not have to redo her hair at that point. It's good if you can visit your stylist
from one to three months in advance of the wedding. You need to take your headpiece with you so you can try out different styles and see which one looks best. The reason for this time frame is, if you're going to have any chemical services done, such as a perm or color, you'll be able to plan when would be the most advantageous time to have these services done. If you're going to get a perm right before the wedding, it's good to allow about three weeks so the perm will be more natural looking and you'll be more comfortable with working with it. If you're going to have color done, you should have it done no sooner than one week before the wedding. That way, the color will have a chance to even itself out and you'll have more natural looking tones. You'll also have an opportunity to get the hair back into the very best condition that it can possibly be in so that it, you will have a lot of shine and a lot of body on your wedding day. The next style that we're going to do for Paige will be a much more sophisticated style. We're going to put her hair up and we'll also have a different headpiece so that you can see what a different style will look like. We finished Paige's second look and this time we've put her hair up. We've used this conventional veil in an unconventional way. What we've done is attached it more at the nape of her neck so that we'll be able to see more of her style. What we've achieved with the French braid is a much smaller head look with Paige. And what we've done is not have to be concerned so much about balancing the amount of volume that we had in the other veil. And this is a very conventional veil worn in an unconventional way without being too avant-garde. One consideration about wearing the French braid or an updo is that it is not a style that you can achieve by yourself. So on the day of the wedding, you would have to have someone help you to braid your hair or to wear it up. And at this point, we want to talk a little bit about makeup. If you'll notice, Paige's makeup is very subtle. What we want to keep in mind is that even though today Paige has on a blue blouse, the day of the wedding, she will be surrounded completely in white and will reflect a lot more onto her face. We've used a much softer tone in her eyeshadow and also in her blush so that she doesn't look overdone. That is something to keep in mind when you're doing your makeup for your wedding day. As far as her braid is concerned, when Paige takes her veil off to leave, she'll be able to leave this braid up or take it down. When she takes it down, she would have volume and soft waves all the way around her face. And those kinds of considerations need to be taken into account when you're making an appointment with your stylist, whether she would be available on the day of the wedding. What we're going to do next is use the same headpiece and put it on Paige's hair like a regular headband. As you can see, we've put Paige's same headpiece and veil on in a much more conventional manner. This is more the traditional bride look. We've also taken the tendrils back away from her hair and smoothed her bangs back so that you can see her face more. We talked earlier about a total fashion image for the bride, keeping in mind the makeup that is applied also. We want to make sure that you don't forget your nails. There will be quite a few pictures taken of your nails and people will be looking at your new rings. This is going to involve an intensive nail care program. One of the things that you want to decide is, are you going to grow your own nails and just keep your regular manicure, or if you want nail extensions, tips, or sculptured nails? Either way, a good weekly manicure, starting as soon as you possibly can, will eliminate any hangnails and will allow your hands to look nice and soft and supple. If you're going to have nail extensions or sculptured nails applied, you need to do that at least one month prior to the wedding just to see if, how well you can function with them. And then schedule a fill-in uh, not more than one week prior to the wedding day. As far as nail polish is concerned, we want to keep in mind what we talked about with subtle makeup. A very pale pink or peach shade is nice, or a French manicure. A French manicure is much more fashionable and truly the most elegant look you can have for your hands. We at JCPenney are as excited about your big day as you are. We want to make sure that everything runs as smoothly as possible on your wedding day. 
some of the things you can do to ensure that is to make sure that your consultations are held as far in advance of the day as possible. When you contact your stylist with your headpiece, we want to make sure that you allow enough time for an extended consultation. At that time, the stylist may want to talk to you about makeup and nail care, or they can refer you to someone in the cosmetics department to help you. J.C. Penney wishes you the best of luck on the best day of your life. Flowing lace and draped strands of simulated pearls give this gown a sophisticated look. Sheer rose patterned lace over satin covers the skirt. Delicate Venice lace modestly forms the sleeves and bodice. This gown comes in white or ivory. The beaded crown headpiece has crystal accents and also comes in ivory or white. A fabric rose and sheer butterfly ruffle adorn the back of this satin bridesmaid gown. Choose either royal or Daphne rose. The puffed sleeves are capped with white bows and fabric roses. A comb holds the satin rose headpiece secure. It is available in four colors that match these gowns and other dresses in the collection. A swirl of soft ruffles trims the shoulder of this bridesmaid dress that comes in striking hot pink or royal. The basque waist drops to a deep V in back, and the princess seams on the bodice make fitting easy. To get the full bouffant look, wear this with the special slip recommended in the bridal catalog. The poof headpiece complements this gown's design that's accented with a candy box bow and dramatic ruffled rose shoulders. Made of taffeta, it comes in hot pink or royal. The satin pumps are available in four different heel heights. Choose the color to match your dress and dye the shoes yourself. This bridesmaid design comes in two radiant colors, turquoise and red. Accent bows crown the shoulders. The princess seaming on the bodice makes alterations easy. The skirt gathers at a basque waistline that drops to a graduated high-low hem. In taffeta, this gown comes in tall and women's sizes, as well as petite and misses. For the bride, this taffeta gown comes in a subtle shade of pink or the more traditional white. The radiant glow of the bodice comes from the special layering of white lace over pink taffeta. The neckline and bodice are embellished with sequins and simulated pearls. Add the special slip for the fullness you see here. The hem has delicate lace detailing that's still easily shortened. Taffeta bows finish the sheer puffed sleeves. The coordinating flowered headpiece with simulated pearls comes in pink and white and is designed to be worn away from the face. The lace trim on the back bodice, the bow and apron bustle Add interest.
To coordinate your wedding fashions, this bridesmaid gown comes in emerald or wine. It features puffed sleeves, a sweetheart neckline, and a trim fitted bodice. The spray of netting and fabric flowers can be clipped on the back or the side of the hair. The back is distinctively designed with a double sweep apron. For this full look, wear the recommended A-line petticoat. This lace lavished gown has a lace bodice with sequins and simulated pearls. The Juliet style wreath headpiece has cascading mock pearls in a gentle V that reflects the curve of the lace trimmed illusion neck. Available in ivory or white. The sleeves and slim fluted skirt are accented with lace. A large box bow accents the deep V of the back bodice. The bridesmaid dress follows the bridal theme with the back bow and adds a ruffled cascade. Puffed sleeves match the brides. A straight skirt comes with a walking slit. Available in raspberry and teal. Striking crisp taffeta, accentuated by a contrast trim surplus, ends in a bow at the waist. This contemporary bridesmaid dress comes in black or royal. Matching white accent bows highlight the shoulders. For more formal weddings, this striking design has three strands of simulated pearls draped over a deep scooped back. The slender fitting bodice is flattering and flows to a floating high-low hemline. Puffed sleeves and detachable beaded motif at the shoulders finish the elegant simplicity of the dress. In taffeta, choose black or royal. A bold dotted peplum top gives this two-piece bridesmaid dress a stylish flair. Puffed sleeves and a gentle v-neck top covers a straight, solid color skirt, available in royal or teal. Hello, I'm Tim Smodilla from Genghis Form War and I'd like to talk to you about selecting tuxedos for your groom and his attendants. There are many considerations in choosing the right tux, more than just the size of the groom. That's why you should choose a reputable form wear company, one who considers the tux from every side, including the brides. It's important to select a company that not only rents tuxedos, but can also advise you on styles and colors that will make the attire complement the rest of the wedding party. There are also many questions people have about tuxedo rental. The most common being, how far in advance should I select my tuxedos? Well, you should make your final selection at least four to six weeks prior to the wedding. But as always, it's never too early to make your choice. Another common question is what color and style tuxedo is appropriate for my wedding? Well, each wedding is different, such as deciding on a traditional versus a contemporary wedding. When planning a traditional wedding, Color scheme isn't, isn't as much of a factor when choosing form wear as such items as time of the ceremony, number of guests and attendance, and type of reception. Conversely, with a contemporary wedding, quite often the men's form wear is selected to complement the bride's and bridesmaid's dresses. Therefore, it is recommended to take a swatch from the bridesmaid's gowns when you select your tuxedos. Ties and cummerbunds are now available in many colors and styles so a swatch is recommended to complement the color scheme. 
Now let's take a look at some traditional and contemporary looks in men's formal wear. The traditional cutaway is a celebration of time. And for a traditional morning wedding, the charcoal gray cutaway with hickory striped trousers is perfect. Here we see the cutaway worn with a white wing collar shirt, pearl gray vest, and striped ascot tie. Alternately, it can be worn with matching trousers and vest. The cutaway is classically styled for that one special ceremony. When white tie is required, the traditional full dress is appropriate. The coat is impeccably tailored with black satin peak lapels and a self-faced top collar. It is worn with a white wing collar piquet shirt and matching piquet vest and band bow tie. The traditional full dress is the ultimate informal. Traditional and sophisticated, the black classic tuxedo is appropriate for any special black tie affair. The one button single breasted coat is tailored with black satin peak lapels and a self-faced top collar. It features straight flat pockets with satin trim and a center vent. It is worn with a white wing collar shirt, black cummerbund, and black bow tie. The classic black tuxedo is always worn in good taste. For a more contemporary look, Christian Dior creates an elegant look with his black single-breasted tuxedo. The coat features satin notch lapels and a self-faced top collar. It is worn with matching pleated trousers, a white wing collar shirt, and finished with black satin accessories. This tuxedo shines with an appropriately contemporary design. Pierre Cardin sets new standards in dressing formally with a smoke cable tuxedo. The all-wool fabric features raised vertical stripes, giving a shadow weave effect. The coat has full satin notch lapels, a self-faced top collar, satin besom lower pockets, and no vent. This designer coat is worn with matching pleated front trousers, a white wing collar shirt, and matching multi-pleated cummerbund and diamond bow tie. The white Pierre Cardin cable is a tropical weight fabric that provides the perfect contemporary look for a spring summer wedding. Shown here with matching pants, the cable short coat also offers an outstanding look when worn as a dinner jacket with black pants. Once you have selected the style tuxedo you'd like, everyone will have to be measured for their tuxedo at the initial fitting. If there are any out-of-town attendants, you can usually have them send their measurements by mail. Most four more stores can do this and are glad to make the arrangements. But remember, it's best to have the groom and groomsmen arrange for the final fitting two days prior to the wedding to ensure the correct fit. And it's also a last chance to check and see if any cufflinks, studs, or other accessory items are missing. I hope I've provided you a good starting point for your form work decisions. And please keep in mind to use your form work consultants along the way for helpful guidance. Topped by a beautiful Juliet cap with floating simulated pearls and fabric flowers, this bridal gown is stylishly traditional. A special bridal slip adds fullness to accent the slender waist. Lace appliques cover the fitted bodice. A modest illusion yoke accentuates the neckline and sleeves. It's available in ivory and white. For the bride's mother, this flowing Georgette dress comes in either blue or mauve. Gathered at the shoulder by a fabric flower pin, this draped design is crisscrossed and asymmetrical to flatter the figure. Available in women's sizes, as well as petite and misses. Delicate pickup lace on the hem and deep satin pickup flounces flow to a chapel length train. A bridal slip gives fullness to the skirt. A full gathered skirt accents the slim waist. 
simulated pearls and lace applique on the bodice outline the Queen Anne neckline. The headpiece is a spray of fabric flowers and simulated pearls that float near the face. The matching satin bridesmaid dress in wine and teal. It has short puffed sleeves, a sweetheart neck, and a shirt bodice that complements many figures. The back is accented by a large bow and a simple V back. The finishing touch for this bridal party is the white flower girl's gown of tiered lace ruffles and satin ribbon sash. This traditional ensemble is highlighted by a satin bridal hat. It's lavishly styled with pleating, simulated pearls, and fabric flowers in white or ivory. The satin gown also comes in white or ivory. The hem and train are finished with lace ruffles. The bodice and Queen Anne neckline are covered in lace with a delicate teardrop pattern at the high collar. The bridesmaid dress has puffed sleeves that blends with the design of the bride. The train can be picked up and secured in a bustle effect. Choose from teal or raspberry. Both bridesmaid and bridal gown are available in tall and women sizes, as well as petite and misses. For the flower girl, a matching version of the bridesmaid, including the adjustable train in back. This romantic gown has a layered lace flounce hem and bow pickups on a satin skirt. Its fullness is accented by the special slip. The Venice lace bodice has sequins and simulated pearls on the deep V but modest illusion neckline. Tiny fabric flowers and gracefully suspended simulated pearls float from the wreath headpiece. Lace trim sleeves on the bridesmaid dress harmonizes with the design of the bridal dress. In Daphne rose and teal, this gown can be worn off the shoulders if you prefer. The back is accentuated with a candy box bow and bustle of lace. The flower girl's dress matches the fabric, colors, and design of the bridesmaid gown. This bridesmaid ensemble can be finished with a matching handbag and satin rose for the hair. Scalloped lace extends below the taffeta T-length underskirting. Lace also forms the puffed sleeves, and a flower adorns the wide satin sash. Choose from teal or royal. This bridesmaid gown features a double keyhole back with three bow trim. The high-low skirt gathers at a basque waist and bodice of lace. The elbow-length sleeves are shirred. Heart-shaped headpiece and gloves are available in matching colors.
Choose royal or wine. The candy box bow and bustle effect will give your bridesmaids dramatic elegance. Available in red or Daphne rose, it has a satin skirt which contrasts the scallop lace overlay of the bodice. Puffed sleeves extend to a lace neckline. This sweeping bridal gown of satin has a Venice lace trimmed hem and train. The lace on the bodice is flecked with simulated pearls and sequins. Shirred at the bust, it complements a slim figure. The long puffed sleeves are shirred. Matching Juliet cap has a high poof and a floating spray of simulated pearls. The bridesmaid dress features ruffled peplum and a candy box bow sprinkled with rhinestones. In royal or red, the trim cut skirt has a walking slit that ascends to a butterfly ruffle. The flower girl's dress matches the bow and peplum of the bridesmaid. This rich traditional gown features exquisite detailing, like a lace trimmed hem and bow ruffle tiers that extend to the train. The fullness of the satin skirt is enhanced by the special bridal slip. In ivory or white, the gown has intricate Venice lace and sequins on the bodice and full sleeves. The sweetheart neck is trimmed with lace and the sleeves can be worn on or off the shoulders. This gown also comes in tall and women's sizes as well as petite and misses. The headpiece of simulated pearls and fabric flowers has a fingertip veil available in white or ivory. A bridesmaid dress of iridescent taffeta and velvet accompanies the bridal gown. Taffeta loops form a puff-like neckline for the fitted velvet bodice. It comes in two jewel tones of green and royal. Hello, my name is Kevin Orr, owner of Designs and Bloom Flowers, and I'm going to be talking to you about planning your wedding flowers. The first thing you want to do is to book your wedding flowers at least three to six months in advance. This is for a typical wedding. The first thing you'll do is call the flower shop to book a consultation for your wedding flowers. You'll need to make an appointment so that you can go in and sit down and talk with the florist. You should come into the shop and ask to see pictures of the florist's work. They can show you different bouquets, different weddings that they have done, and you can relate this to your wedding as far as size and type of flower. When you come in, also bring pictures of the bride's dress and the bridesmaid's gowns. Also, if you have a sample of the material, it's best to bring that in so the florist can match the material color to different flowers, different flower colors, and types of flowers that will work well with your bouquet. You can bring in pictures also from bridal magazines if you see a bouquet that works well with your dresses or a style that you really like. Prices on the, the flowers will vary according to the size of the wedding, the number of people in your wedding, and the types of flower being used. There are two basic kinds of wedding, traditional and contemporary. For your traditional flowers, 
We tend to use more of the miniature carnations, carnations, sweetheart roses, mums, and baby's breath. For contemporary weddings, we use more exotic flowers like orchids, orchid sprays, and Hawaiian flowers like anthuriums. We've covered three or four of the basic points in planning your wedding flowers. So if you'll remember to follow these steps when you plan your wedding, it will make it easier on you and your florist. The next two gowns and coordinating bridesmaid dresses are ideal for informal or encore ceremonies. This graceful design has a deep V back accented by a large satin bow. A lace overlay falls to the high-low hem. The lace sleeves are trimmed with a satin bow at the wrist. This informal gown comes in white or ivory. The headpiece of fabric flowers and mock pearls is easily attached with comb. A perfect companion for the bride's gown is this satin bridesmaid dress in raspberry or emerald. The relaxed drop waist with matching satin bow is an ideal complement for many figures. This design also comes in ivory or white and has a matching floral wreath headpiece with a dramatic poof and shoulder length veil. The sheath dress has a narrow skirt with lace over satin. Sequins and simulated pearls decorate the bodice. The satin bustle back has a striking bow and a short graceful train. The coordinating bridesmaid dress has a high-low flounced hemline. The flowered headpiece with simulated pearls complements this gown's design. The bodice skims the body for an easy fit. The asymmetrical dropped waist has a candy box bow. It comes in Daphne Rose or Royal. Hello, I'm Jane Slater, president of Fishman's Dry Clean Laundry Company. I'd like to talk to you about the care and preservation of your wedding gown. Wedding gowns are special, not only because of their sentimental value, but also because of their materials, like silks and satins. If you spill a soft drink or some champagne on it during the wedding reception, don't try to clean it yourself. You'll only make matters worse. These stains and either perspiration can yellow quickly. So it's important to get it to your dry cleaners as soon as possible after the wedding. If you're nervous about the gown being soiled before the wedding, many cleaners will press the gown and deliver it straight to your home or church. Just check with them. It could save you a lot of worry. After the wedding is over, you want to store your gown in a way that will preserve it well. There are two options. You can either do it yourself or have your dry cleaners preserve it for you. If you decide to do it yourself, have it professionally cleaned first, then find a box to put it in, seal the box tightly, and store the gown in a dark area that is climately controlled, not a place like your attic or basement. The other route is having your cleaners preserve the gown. Most full-service cleaners offer this. It's called heirlooming. Many brides choose this service. The gown is first cleaned and pressed, then to stuff with tissue paper and put in a heavy plastic bag with a dehumidifying package to keep the moisture out. Then the dress is carefully placed in a see-through double corrugated box. If you want to give your gown the best possible treatment, this is the way to go. But whichever way you decide to keep the gown, always have it professionally cleaned first. In this way, you will ensure the gown's beauty for years to come. If you take the right steps, caring for your wedding gown is simple, but the first step you should take is ordering yours from the JCPenney Telephone Center. Our operators are trained bridal fashion coordinators. Call them at this toll-free 800 number. They're standing by seven days a week to help you. They know the fabrics of each gown and how to select the proper size, assisting you in making the selection that's right for you. That gown is pictured on page 13. Let me look at that for you. 
Yes, I do have a All our I operators have immediate access to the gowns and can quickly answer any questions you may have. They know the fit of each gown and will suggest accessories like what petticoat or bra to wear. Thank you very much for holding. I did check that sample. Before that making a decision, a you may want to look at a swatch book or fabrics found at any J.C. Like Penny catalog order? department. Order your That's gown wonderful. there or through our bridal operators. Ordering by phone is convenient and will tell you when to That's expect your gown, usually within Eight, a week. Six, six, our operators will even make special eight. arrangements to have the dresses shipped to each member of your bridal party. Ordering your gown from the J.C. Penny Bridal Catalog is simple and convenient. You'll find all your needs for bridal fashions and accessories. But as your needs change, the J.C. Penny Catalog is still the best place to find quality fashions. Our big book has 1,200 pages of fashions for every aspect of your new life, from sportswear to tailored career wear. There's a complete selection of men's and children's clothes, plus home furnishings, electronics, and sporting goods. You'll find great values and selection at your fingertips. It's the perfect way for the busy new bride to shop. If you order your gown from us, we'll send you an invitation for a copy of the Spring and Summer Catalog as soon as it's ready. Planning a wedding takes time and careful attention to every detail. But none is as important as finding the perfect gown that brings out your joy and excitement. We hope this video helps to make your wedding a day of treasured memories and make you a more beautiful bride.